and Narendra, this young Vivekananda, was a Brahman. And so he could not think, he could not accept this doctrine or this idea of non-dualism. He would consider it, it blasphemous to think that I am one with God. One day, of course, Sri Ramakrishna's way, method was very unique in a way. He would not try to force it on him. But he realized that Vivekananda was the one who could follow this path of non-dualism from the very beginning. And so he was wanting to train him along that line. And he would ask him to read books on extreme non-dualism. And Vivekananda would say, but I don't believe in all this. He said, never mind, you don't have to believe. I want to hear what, he, what the book says. And then he learned some songs which also pertain to that non-dualistic idea. And one day after singing the song, he came out and met his friend, Hazra. And both of them just began to make fun of this idea of non-dualism. He says, just think, this vessel is God, this cup is God, this hookah I am smoking is God, and you are God, and I am God. What nonsense! And they were laughing and joking about it. Sri Ramakrishna overheard them. And he came out and with a smile he said, What are you talking about? Oh, I understand. And he gave a touch to Vivekananda. And then Vivekananda tells his experience after that touch. And I will quote him. That strange touch immediately brought a complete revolution over my mind. Wherever I looked, I saw Brahman and Brahman alone. I lived in that consciousness the whole day. I returned home and that same experience continued. When I sat down to eat, I saw that the food, the plate, the server and I myself all were Brahman. I took one or two morsels of food and again was absorbed in that consciousness. All the while, whether eating or lying down or going to college, I had the same experience. While walking in the streets, I noticed cabs flying, but did not feel inclined to move out of the way. I felt that the cabs and myself were made of the same substance. When this state changed a little, the world began to appear to me as a dream. While walking in Cornwallis Street, Cornwallis Square, I struck my head against the iron railings to see if they were real or only a dream. After several days, when we returned, when I returned to the normal plane, I realized that I had had a glimpse of non-dual consciousness. Since then, I have never doubted the truth of non-dualism. <laughs>